and have reactors blow up. They'll just say it's nutritional, splice all the different plants together that sterilizes all the mammals it's tested on. GMO, it's great. All, bisphenol A and all the major products, you know, the soup cans, you name it. Uh, that's all part of the plan. They're saying they will invade your country. The UN just got done invading um, Ivory Coast a few months ago. And admittedly, the rebels killed tens of thousands and, 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 and took over. And it's a UN takeover for the diamonds in that case. Now... The New York Times and others admit this is going on. This article, when you hear this, this is admitted, but they just basically whitewash it. Kind of like this L.A. Times article, 30,000 mostly black Libyans flee a single town. There are giant mass graves and in some cases giant dead piles of black people, black Libyans. Uh, the the Al-Qaeda forces that NATO has put in are publicly engaged in a massacre that will soon reach Rwandan Proportions. We told you about this six months ago. It had begun. Now it's just pell-mell, kill any black you come across. And again, the liberals will have a heart attack if somebody doesn't hand over their bank account. They'll say, give us your bank account. Give us government health care. Give the foreign banks all your money or you're racist. And whites just slip their wrist and go, I'm guilty. Take everything I've got. Give it to Al Gore. Meanwhile, the U.N. all over the world is slaughtering, quote, minorities, which are the majority globally. And, and it, it's part of a racist eugenics program. And uh, L.A. Times is just mass murder, total death. New York Times admits it. Uh, but don't worry. David Cameron has gone to the United Nations. David, and we're going to Paul here in a moment, in, um, in, into the next segment. He's gone to the United Nations and said, yes, let's invade more countries under humanitarian auspices. So they fund rebels. They rebel. The government fights back, the population fights back, NATO bombs the country for five, six months and invades and then slaughters uh, any minority group and then calls it loving and liberal because a peace prize president's running it. After all, he's part black, so it must be good. Again, this is all political correctness, like a sick mental illness. Now, 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 here's the latest news. They invade your country over environmental reasons. They invade your country over humanitarian reasons, having rebels try to overthrow it. Here's Paul Watson's headline, and it's all true. Armed troops burn down homes, kill children to evict Ugandans in name of global warming. And the mainstream news actually says, well, it's for the earth. <laughs> Line up the family, shoot them, burn them, kill everybody. <laughs> it's, a, it's a program to come in and displace the people to, quote, plant trees as part of their carbon allotment. And uh, Paul Watson joins us. We're going to break in a moment, Paul, but... What's even more incredible than the U.N.-backed forces murdering people, Paul, is that the media is like, well, it's okay. This is loving. This is a sacrament of death, Paul. Well, I mean, just look at the headline that the New York Times puts on top of this astounding story. In scramble for land, group says, company pushed Ugandans out. Just gently pushed them out. And then you actually read what the villagers reported was done burning down homes, killing children, beating people up, threatening to shoot them in the head if they resist, you know, just gently pushing them out. And of course, this is all being run under the order of the World Bank and other banks like HSBC, transnational corporations. <clears throat> it's called the New Forests Company, uh, and it's basically working with the brutal Ugandan government. They've evicted more than 20,000 Africans and also uh, people in South America from their land. Basically, little warning, no compensation, armed troops turn up, set everybody everybody's houses on fire, beat and kill anyone who resists. There's a report of children being killed in this New York Times article. But that's a gentle you know, push. That's a nudge, Paul. Just a, and, just a gentle push, And yeah. we wonder why we have 30 million illegal aliens here. This was done in the 80s and 90s all over southern and central Mexico. On record, they came and took land that people have been on for thousands of years under a U.N. program. They even had rebellions in Yucatan over it. We'll be right back to break this down. This is the loving, liberal genocide that you love so much. And they say it's for the earth. Oh, so loving. Oh. HempUSA.org has moved and expanded its operations for faster worldwide shipping. Our product line has grown from 5 to nearly 100 items in less than 5 years. Our food has grown naturally, always chemical free, not found in stores. Great for daily intake and perfect for your emergency storage shelter. 
Call 908-691-2608 or visit HempUSA.org and see what our powders, seeds, and oil can do for you. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a silver dollar in a book explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. Alex Jones here with vital information concerning our nation's fragile food supply. Folks, there are some truly dangerous trends forming, and I think it's important for my listeners to do three things right away. Number one, study the past. History really does repeat itself. Number two, learn to spot the dangerous food shortage trends. Number three, take decisive action. A perfect storm is brewing or a global food crisis. That's why I'm telling everyone to read the new book, Rising Prices, Empty Shelves. Warning signs that trigger the deadliest famines in history. Don't get caught unprepared when the crisis hits. This book is only available at risingpricesemptyshelves.com. You'll also get a free copy of Supermarket Survival, How to Cut Your Grocery Bills in Half. Again, that website is risingpricesemptyshelves.com. That's risingpricesemptyshelves.com. Optics Planet is calling all hunters, shooters, and outdoorsmen. It's time to gear up. As the best online retailer of rifle scopes, red dot sights, lasers, and other firearm accessories, Optics Planet has a special deal to offer GCN listeners. You may already know OpticsPlanet.com has the best selection of weapon lights, holsters, night vision, binoculars, and tactical gear on the planet. With incredibly low prices, free shipping on most orders, and USA-based phone support, Optics Planet is the online retailer of choice for discerning gun owners and outdoor enthusiasts. Featuring Loophole, Blackhawk, EOTech, Crimson Trace, Night Force, Trigicon, Surefire, over 700 top brands. For a limited time, head to OpticsPlanet.com slash GCN to get a free Streamlight Keymate, the world's most powerful keychain light with purchase. That's OpticsPlanet.com slash GCN or call 800-332-OPTICS right now to speak with an Optics Planet product specialist. 800-332-6784. Think about how incredible this is, how off the charts. Cameron and the UN, the Prime Minister of England and the UN, are openly in the news yesterday saying we're going to have more humanitarian interventions like Libya, Ivory Coast, and others. They're talking about Syria. And it's on record the West is funding rebels in all these countries to try to overthrow them. They're going into Libya, and now it's been admitted for weeks, what we told you six months ago. They are murdering blacks on site who live in North Africa, who are part of the country. They are killing them. I saw a report where they shot toddlers and killed them yesterday in the Associated Press uh, because their names, last names were Qaddafi. It's basically like Jones or Smith in Libya. Very common name. And they just killed them. <laughs> I mean, this is what's, they got them at the airport, caught them at the airport. They just lined them up and shot them. That was in the news yesterday, and it's like, oh, this is so humanitarian. And now I'm reading the New York Times and others, and they're like, well, yeah, uh, this uh, World Bank-run company 
And they just say when they come into an area, oh, we're doing this to plant trees. It's for a forest. And, and basically, we've seen this over and over again with the UN, Agenda 21, UN biosphere zones. They go and enforce the indigenous populations out. This is incredible. Paul Watson, please continue with your report. Hold on, we're going to get you. You need to start over. I'm sorry, you weren't faded up. Go ahead. Yeah, this is the new forest company, which, which is a British company. Its primary investor is the World Bank. It's run by the current HSBC managing director. Um, and also on its board of directors are several investment bankers, including one who worked for Goldman Sachs. Basically, they make money out of seizing the land of poor villages in Africa primarily, planting trees and then selling the carbon offsets to trans transnational corporations who can then, quote, pollute. And of course, the cost is merely passed on to us, the consumer. And then afterwards, they just chop down the trees and sell them for timber anyway. So you've got this group, which is basically run by the World Bank. It's a World Bank front working in alliance with the Ugandan government and the army. They show up at villages threaten people to get out of their homes. If they don't, they kill them. They set the homes on fire. Um, and then they, the, for example, in this one village, which is mentioned in the New York Times article, the school where the kids were taught, which of course is very important in Africa where it's education so lacking, the school is now the headquarters for this British sustainability company. So they ransack entire villages and towns. Farmers have the whole plantations destroyed. There's one case in a, a Guardian article, which is about the same issue, where the guy talks about, you know, he had he, had, he was growing bananas, he was growing sugar canes, he was feeding his children. Now he's, you know, the poorest guy there. Um, and the mal, uh, malaria, malnutrition, all exploding as a result of this. And it's, again, it's neo-colonialism under the guise of protecting against global warming. This is killing the African dream of development uh, and a reasonable standard of living through global warming hysteria, which is all run by transnational banks and corporations who invoke this climate change con to raise villages and steal land so they can take a slice of this multi-billion dollar carbon trading Ponzi scheme. And Paul, and, and Paul, as the 1948 British Royal Commission admitted, it was adopted by the U.S. government as policy on record. We cover it in Endgame. They said, if we let the third world industrialize, they'll stop having as many kids. But we're going to block them from industrializing. They're going to have a bunch of kids. But then we'll just mitigate with birth control and land use and use food as a weapon, as Kissinger repeated in 73 in State Department Memorandum 200. And so this is so cold-blooded, just like the carbon taxes in Copenhagen, we learned, were right at double what they would be on the third world, what they would be on the West. This is a death sentence by a bunch of eugenicists, but as long as they say they're liberal, it's okay. And trendies all over Austin have carbon off offset stickers on their cars and pay money to these very groups so they can run around mass murdering black people. They love it, too. I mean, you, you tell a liberal, they're like, good, murder them all. There's too many. I'm liberal. Ah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. I mean, progressives who hyperventilate about, you know, global warming impacting poor people the most and how we need to reduce our living standards when global warming alarmism itself is not just reducing the living standards of the poor. It's starving them to death. I mean, look at biofuels. You've got... Countries like Swaziland and Haiti, where they're living on mud pies, you know, food prices double because all yeah. these transnational corporations Paul, are seizing stay the there. land. Stay there. We're going to Aaron. We're going to get him online now, but I want you to finish when we come back. This is part of a larger program, and I want to tie it in, as you were just doing, with the Copenhagen Treaty, uh, with the biofuels, admittedly killing millions more every year via starvation. And you bring this up to a liberal trendy, they'll just go, I'm not a liberal trendy, okay? I mean, they're, they're really Nazis, and it, they love it. It's so much fun for them. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. 
Hello, friends. Alex Jones here. You all know I've worked for years with Steve Shank and eFoods Direct. I have eFoods for my own emergency food supply. You know, Steve, life is different now for all of us, isn't it? Very different. People are using this great food to survive the present hurricane season, and we've already had $40 billion worth of damage from floods, storms, quakes, and droughts. And that's just the first eight months of this year. Natural disasters are newsworthy, but only touch a few of us Americans. The huge issue of the Greatest Depression is on everyone's mind. The unemployment, the loss of homes, lost businesses, and skyrocketing food costs are hitting every American. So everyone needs food security. Folks, this month you will get free shipping on every food order from eFoods Direct. That's right. Every order gets free shipping starting September 6th. Get stocked up with the best storable foods out there with eFoods Direct and be prepared for any emergency before it happens. 